You got some pretty flowers behind you there, too. Uh, that we do. I know that the big showstopper, of course, is going to be the Portland waterfront cherry blossoms, but we're seeing flowers bloom all across our area, just giving us a nice little pop of color. And as we climb out of the winter season, now we start to prepare for spring, which it's still technically winter as of right now. That's where we expect to see the direct sun rays move over the equator by the time we get to just at about 8.06 this evening, and then that's when we can finally celebrate the official start of the spring season. So we got to wait till later this evening, but overall today, the first day of astronomical spring, celebrating the first day of meteorological spring back on March 1st. But we are seeing those temperatures once again climb up into the spring territory. Near record-breaking conditions possible for Portland. Our forecasted high today, 75. The old record, 73. Last set back in 1960. Also expecting to see the 70s up and down the I-5 quarter, but slightly cooler out towards the coast as we keep just a bit of that fog and cloud layer, but no clouds to speak of as we take a live look out over the Vancouver waterfront. Thanks to the Hotel Indigo Kirkland Tower camera 61 degrees. That's where we currently sit out at PDX, keeping that sunshine for the rest of this evening as we climb back up into the low to mid 70s. 48 degrees, though, the cloud coverage out along the Oregon coast, and you can see it here with satellite and radar, and eventually some of that cloud coverage will push its way back over the I-5 quarters. So that means the warm temperatures drift out of our area. We stay mild through Thursday and Friday, and then we have a big cool down on the way as we work our way into the weekend. So something to be mindful of, but we'll time it all out with the future cast here. Increasing clouds tonight stays dry through the overnight hours. We wake up tomorrow with a little bit more of that cloud coverage into the 40s, and we keep the cloud coverage for much of the day. It's once we roll into the evening hours tomorrow that we have a better chance to see maybe a few splash and dash showers, but not a super soaker event for us by any stretch, as we do expect to see our rain gauges start to fill up to a couple of one hundredths of an inch to maybe a tenth to a quarter out along the coast as we work our way through Thursday afternoon. But snow elevation levels only dipping down to about 4,000 feet by the time we get to Thursday morning, so not impacting us here along the I-5 corridor. Today, go ahead, soak up the sunshine, enjoy it for our final day as our daytime highs get back up into the mid-70s. Tonight, falling back into the upper 40s, the cloud coverage that will start to increase across the area, acting a bit like a blanket for us to keep those temperatures on the mild side as our seven day forecast does show the return of some wet weather late Wednesday into Thursday that takes us into the weekend. Oh, bummer. Look at those daytime highs back up only into the mid to low 50s by the time we roll into next week. But overall, seeing those 60s still remain. And I got to give a big shout out to the third graders of the Tualatin Valley Academy. Yesterday had uh, the opportunity to do some fun weather science experiments with the kiddos. And boy, they had a lot of great questions. And uh, we have the infamous uh, or famous, I should say, tornado machine mm -hmm. that comes around to the schools, too. So. A lot of fun. That's it. You built that with your dad. Right? I did. It was a high school project, and yeah. boy, it's moved all across the country with me. I know our own uh, Jeff Giannola. What did he make recently? He, he made a so small tornado machine, he too. He was so cute. He was so proud. He put all this work into it, and then he came and saw Josh's big, huge thing. He's like, I could have just used that. I guess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so. That's okay. We'll still Next use time. yours, Jeff. Yes. All right. <laughs> we'll be right back. Stick around.